Hello, and welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, as today is that big news I was talking about, the first of many amounts of big news here. Universal Orlando um, presented uh, the, uh, the reopening plan to the uh, Orlando Task Force Committee, or what uh, it's called, something like that. And they have announced that they plan to, and the, first of all, the task force unit and unanimously approved it. And in their plan, they announced that they want to soft open on June 1st, of June 1st, and then reopen fully to all guests on June 5th. Now, this is very, very interesting. It's very good because on June 1st, uh, June 1st to 2nd, there'll be team members only. Kind of come in, you know, spruce up the park. Um, also kind of run the operations, test out the rides and do all that stuff to make sure kind of get back into business. On June 3rd and June 4th, um, Universal will be limited uh, to just pass holders only, some pass holders only. And then on June 5th, the park will be open to the public. Obviously, capacity will, li will be limited. They didn't say a specific number here, but if we go with kind of like Shanghai, what Shanghai is doing, then maybe be 30 to 50 percent with it starting off very slow, maybe 10, 20 percent at first, and then they let more and more guests in each week as they kind of ramp up operations. Universal is the first of Orlando's major theme parks to announce reopen date. Disney World and SeaWorld are set to announce or do some reopening plans to the Orlando Task Force Committee, but we're not entirely sure when those are going to happen. It was a rumor that they were going to happen today, but it was just that then it was retracted and said just uh, Universal Orlando will be um, doing theirs today. I saw a rumor online that Universe, or SeaWorld Orlando wants to open by the end of June, so maybe they'll present to the task force at the beginning or middle of June. And hopefully Disney World as well presents to the task force during uh, what, during June as well. Um, so this is very good news. This is the first uh, major theme park, uh, theme park resort in the United States to go ahead and open up its doors to the public. Um, it still has to be approved by Governor Rick DeSantis, or it still has to be approved by uh, the, uh, I think the mayor and the governor. Um, yeah, Orange County Mayor Jerry Demings and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, um, which will likely be approved because they have both supported the opening of Orlando theme parks, so it'll likely be approved, and you'll be able to visit Universal Orlando during that time. Now, part I took a screenshot of the reopening plan here, part of it, to show specifically how the attraction queues are going to work. And as you see, here's uh, some graphics of how the attraction queues are going to work. I'm going to use those the markers again. I'm going to use please stand here markers, which are the sh little strips of tape, and then the, the social distancing markers that say stand six feet apart. They show uh, what the layout could look like for different attractions or different uh, lengths of queues, um, with the top being the largest and the smallest wing at the, um, with no physical queue, that's like a parade route or like um, the like the, the passageway, the main passageway, that's what we're looking at with no queue. And those are some of the things, and that's how it could work, the physical distancing. Which sounds good to me, and we'll see how it's implemented, and again, next, or uh, not next week, but uh, in a couple weeks, about a week and a half, we'll see how it's implemented um, in real time. Let's see, we have... Uh, also, as part of the opening, visitors will have their temperature checked upon arrival. If the temperature is 100.4 degrees or higher, they won't be allowed to enter into the parks. Visitors can wear face masks if they don't have um, any. Um, they can purchase them at the Universal City Walk. And the park will obviously limit capacity and ensure social distancing. 
They also have a lot of cash, cashless payment options like Apple Pay, Google Pay, and the like. And staggered parking so you don't have to park right next to someone and open your door next to someone and germs get out the car and stuff like that. Universal will also be closing interactive play areas, at least that um, I'm not too familiar with Universal Orlando, but an uh, interactive play area at Universal Hollywood will be something like su Super Silly Funland. There's a water park, and kind of a water play area, something like that at Universal Orlando would be closed. They're going to eliminate water and mist on most attractions, which is very interesting because it's like, that's like all of them. And especially like with, uh, does that mean Jurassic World won't be open? Because Jurassic World and Jurassic Park, um, at both the Universal Parks are fully water attractions. Also, Toon Lagoon is in completely water areas. Will that, will that be closed in the middle of a, will be beginning of a hot summer in Florida? Who knows? Um, we'll definitely have to see about that. We'll look on the app and see um, when that opens, if the water attractions definitely open. But that means uh, missed attractions like on Kong and on, on Adventure of the Mummy will be, will be gone. Ballet operations will cease to exist and single rider lines will not be happening. Probably won't even need them because of such limited capacity. Um, but so far, yeah, single rider lines will be gone. Workers will, or team members also have their temper, temperature checks, temperature check, and also have to wear face masks. And all chairs and tables will be clean and disinfected after each seating. And high touch areas will be frequently cleaned. And that is basically what is. That's how they're going to tackle this. And I'm I'm fully supported. I'm so excited for it to happen. Um. What do you guys think? Will you be going to Universal Orlando if you're an Orlando resident, or will you be making a flight in there to Universal Orlando <laughs> with these reopening plans? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park news, especially when Disney World and SeaWorld are going to open up. And as always, have a fantastic day.